this building we have a quite complex structure in in it because it's, everything is hanging from one center point in in the roof like an egg so it's very strong straight force uh, so we have one catwalk is hanging straight from that actually center shackle uh, and that that limit in in that grid is 55 ton in total uh, then the, the building has sort of maybe you can see it in, in the upstage part of the arena we have a upper grid that's standing on the column standing on ground yeah so there we have another 50 55 ton to to use uh, and so that that was a bit of struggle this for this production because everything is sort of upstage and uh, we had to divide it to okay some of the weight we could put into the the hanging grid uh, and the hanging structure and some of it we need to get more upstage to to the grid that's on the ground actually uh, so that was a bit a bit complex to, to find ways to do it because uh, it, we have also that the hanging grid has to be sort of symmetrical load so we're not going we, we lose the balance of it because if we just load it in one end it's going to rise in the other one and that's not good so we, we find some solution that we could move set things a bit more upstage and take for example main PA and that part and, and moving set pieces just a touch downstage so we can could divide it into the lower grid and the upper grid the, the hanging structure and the standing structure uh, and in the other end of the arena in the south end or downstage end uh, we were able to actually put bumper trusses on the hanging grid and out to the structure in the, the concrete structure on the equator we have not that much moving during the show that we did in Malmö actually but but we have big pieces this time so the arches we have uh, 10 arches uh, uh, to move we have two follow spots trusses with three follow spot operator truss spots uh, moving during show as well uh, we have like 16 uh, ladder trusses with lights uh, in the upstage end of the uh, of the set that's moving and uh, a couple of trusses in the set that when you look at it it's look like it's coming from the ground but it's actually hanging in Cyberrise as well, yeah, we're like 78 units of Cyberrise, the new system. Okay. Okay, so um, on stage we're moving uh, basically everything that's hanging above the stage. We have arcs hanging above the stage, we have pyro, we have different hollow gases which has uh, a big screen on it, and we have flower pots moving up and down which appear from uh, the bottom up to the stage. We have follow spots on the hoist and we also have backlights, little ladder trusses with two types of uh, lights on it. And we have the Alex trusses on the side and we're moving pyro. Uh, on my desk I have all the back trusses, all the lights that are in the floor and I have the side trusses, follow spots and on the separate desk, the second desk which is controlled by Ingo. We, uh, controls basically all the arcs, the hollow gases and the pyro, so all the special effects. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have uh, load cells that uh, have two sensors inside uh, on the motors. So if one of the motors load cells shows an overload, it stops. If one of the sensors should fail, the automatically the other one uh, picks up the rest. Mm. Uh, we have double brakes in the motors. So if one brake should fail, then the other one is capable of the ho holding the whole weight. Well, I think the Cyberhoist system is uh, able to control in a very smooth way, very heavy objects, move it in a smooth way. Um, the other thing is the high safety level that we uh, try to achieve. Um, and the easy way of programming. So if a lighting designer is asking us to move an object in a certain height and a certain speed, we're able to program it pretty fast. Uh, and we can adjust it really fast. Mm -hmm.